Hey everybody, welcome to Why Buy. Let's talk about the Napier hatchback tent. So the big thing that we really wanted to get away from with the conventional tent was sleeping on the ground. Uh, so with the, the hatchback tent, uh, you can do that. We actually set it up so we can sleep inside the cab. Uh, we keep all of our storage, all of our clothes, suitcases, all that stuff in the tent and actually sleep inside the, the cab of the SUV with the, the seats down. Um, and uh, it was kind of a, a touch and go thing. We didn't really know um, when we bought it, uh, what we were, what issues we were going to run into. The, the big one we first hit was just trying to put an air mattress into the, the back of the cab. And the, the issue with the air mattresses is they're actually pretty thick. They're, you know, four or five inches. And when we inflated it and got in there to go to bed, we were like, you know, three or four inches from the, the moon roof and it was kind of uncomfortable. So uh, we found out really quick, we need to find an alternative to an air mattress. And what's cool is we actually found these little, uh, they're called inflatable sleeping pads and they were at uh, Cabela's as well. Uh, they're about like two inches and the way they're designed is how they take in air. It actually is, is very comfy. So, and that's one of the really nice things about this is that, you know, now that we figured out how to sleep in the cab with this, uh, this tent, um, we have a moonroof and it's just beautiful. You're completely um, closed in, you feel safe and secure. That's one of the main things that I also had an issue with, with uh, just a conventional tent is that there's really not much between you and other people or wildlife when you are sleeping. Here you do have the security of your car. You, you can close the hatch all the way. And we found with our SUV, um, I'm six feet and I still had a lot of leg room. Uh, so if that's a concern of yours, you can sleep in your cabin, you can close the hatch all the way while the tent is attached. I find that's you know, important to note. Um, otherwise, yeah, you can leave the hatch open for airflow. Um, uh, it, we, had a, we had a fun uh, issue trying to get the interior lights to shut off when with, we had the, the hatch back open. Um, and with our car, it was just a matter of, you had to actually lock the car with your keys and turn the automatic lights off uh, and that would allow the lights to actually shut off. You know, you can sleep in your car, you can have all your storage in the tent versus having all of your stuff in your car and sleeping in the tent. Uh, for me, that's a lot better. Um, if you've ever camped in the rain, I, you'll probably attest to, you know, waking up and feeling damp and cold. And, you know, that kind of is not the issue anymore with, with this, being able to sleep in your cab. This, this comes with a, a great fly, it comes with, it, it, it's waterproof material. Um, I will say that we have noticed like if there's been a heavy rain, a little bit of water on the floor, but nothing that's uh, really terrible. We just wipe it up really quickly and, and you're fine. I, I really love that it's very, it's so tall. I mean, I'm six feet. I can raise my arms in there to the roof. I can get dressed in there like it's a room. It's, it's not like a tent where you're kind of hunched over and, you know, trying to, you know, on the air mattress trying to struggle into your shorts and change your clothes like that's that doesn't happen in here you can dance in there if you want to um, it's uh, also it's got a nice uh, right at the top of the roof a nice place to hang a lantern so you can actually have it like a uh, like a lit up room at night it's really nice um, yeah I also we haven't done it but it, uh, we also thought it'd be really interesting to put a table in there and you'd be able to you know if it's raining outside if it's you know you can't do anything you can you know have a table in there and play games and cards whatever it is just to pass the time I don't think you can do that in another tent right like your tent is so low and then you're, you're stuck you know being cramped and usually um, your bed is taking up most of the place so um, that's, that's why I wouldn't really look at this as a tent versus just a way to better utilize your SUV space. So the setup's actually fairly easy. It, it, 
is not the same as any of the other standard tents I've ever set up. Basically, you actually have to start putting the roof together. The roof has its own four bars to set up. And then underneath the roof, you put in the four poles to hold the roof up. But yeah, it's just a matter of, you know, quickly putting in the roof bars and then quickly putting in the side bars. Um, there's, a, I don't even know what you would call it. It's like a sleeve with an elastic around it. And that is what kind of attaches to your SUV and it actually creates a pretty good seal on your SUV as well. We can actually get this thing set up in about five minutes. I mean, there's gonna be probably another five, 10 minutes of once you have it set up, you actually pull all of, all of your stuff out of the car and bring it into the uh, tent. But uh, yeah, um, you can do it by yourself for sure. It is easier with another person. Uh, and then takedown is just as easy. I mean, it takes, it is actually quicker to take down because uh, you can actually pack your car up. I, that's, this is the one thing I love about it, is you can pack your car up from inside the tent. So if it's raining outside, really the, the only thing you have to do is take the tent down in the rain and the rest is already packed up in your car. That's, that's a really nice thing. So my favorite thing is the fact that I don't look at this as a, another tent. I, I look at it as a way to utilize my SUV space, um, meaning I, get, I can sleep in the cab. And that is the best thing about this tent is, um, you know, I've got four solid walls around me. I have a moon roof that I can look up out through the stars at. It's fantastic. And uh, I, can, I can actually, you know, close and open the hatch as much as I want to regulate that air as I'm sleeping. You know, if it's a, you know, if it's a cold month, I can close it all the way and be fine. Or I can open it more if it's in the middle of the summer to cool off. So if you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Show your support, and thanks for watching. Please move. Oh my god, what's he doing? Excuse me, we're just trying to get a shot here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you can sleep right in the car, yeah. Make sure you buy it from this link. Let's talk about the Napier Sports to Go Dome what the f dome to go hatchback tent <clears throat> sports dome to go hatchback tent i'm just gonna say hatchback tent there you go